Welcome to this video. It's part of the free course, how to create a platform like Shopify, using WordPress and WooCommerce. You'll create a beautiful homepage, a pricing page for your membership plans, and a custom login page. Your users will manage their stores from a beautiful customized dashboard, easily created without any programming needed. Follow the link in the description to take the course. In this lesson, we will show you how to create a custom checkout page for WP Ultimo, using the free version of the Elementor Page Builder. This is great because your WP Ultimo Register page will look in accordance with the overall appearance of your multi-site platform. We will first show you how to create a custom WP Ultimo checkout form, and then we will show you how to create the page with Elementor, so that your registration process looks beautiful. To create a custom WP Ultimo checkout form, go to Checkout Forms in your Network Admin panel. Now hit Add Checkout Form. In this case, we'll add a multi-step checkout form. First, let's edit the checkout form's name. We'll call it New Site. By default, WP Ultimo adds four steps to the multi-step checkout forms. The first step has to do with the membership plan selection. In the second step, the users will enter the site title and the site URL. The third step includes the fields where the users will add the email, username, and password. And the last step has to do with placing the order and payments. The question is, what if you want to add a new step to the checkout process where users can select a site template? Or what if you want to allow your users to enter a discount code on checkout? Well, we'll show you how to do it. First, let's add a new step to allow our users to select a site template for their sites. Now we'll move this new step up because we want it to be the second step. We want customers to select a template right after selecting their membership plan. Now let's add a new field to this step and select templates. Here, we can select the templates that can be selected in this step. Once you're done, save the field. After that, we will add a next step button. So we need to add a new field and select submit button. We'll call this button next step and save the changes. In the payment step, we will add a field to allow customers to enter a discount code. Let's add a discount code field. You can move the field up to place it before the checkout button. Now let's add the checkout form slug and save the changes. We're done creating our custom checkout form. Now it's time to create a custom checkout page with Elementor. For this, we need to first copy the checkout form shortcode. After that, go to your main site and add a new page. We'll call this page new site and edit it with Elementor. Once you're in Elementor, change the page layout to Elementor Canvas. Now you can design the page as you want, adding your own elements. In this case, we've prepared a page template that you can download from the text version of this lesson. Once you download the template, import it into your site and insert it on this page. Here you can change the checkout shortcode and paste the shortcode of your new checkout form. Now we can preview the page. As you see, the three plans available are displayed on the page, and we can go on to the next step. The page looks clean and beautiful, so we can publish it. Once you have published the page, this is what your customers will see when adding a new site to your multi-site network. They will select the plan, enter the site title and URL, add the site's basic information, and see an overview of their order in the payment step. If they have a coupon code, they can apply it here. Once they place the order, they will be able to visit their new site. If they go to the admin panel, they won't use the normal WP admin panel. Instead, they will use a beautiful front-end dashboard created with WP front-end admin. This is how you can create a custom checkout form in WP Ultimo and design a beautiful checkout page with Elementor. Remember to consult the written version of this lesson, where you'll find the necessary shortcodes and important links.